Hi, I'm Jeff Swartz, physical therapist with the Mercy Health Run Clinic. What we're going to talk about today is uh, common recovery uh, methods and techniques and devices. So one of the things that is probably most popular, especially in the physical therapy clinic, if you gave us the option of having one toy, um, it's going to be a Theragun. Um, we like the high frequency vibration guns uh, because it saves our hands and it can, it's effective in getting down into the muscles that need the work. One, we have the piriformis and the glute maximus right in through there. So you're not trying to bury the th Theragun into the muscle, but you also don't want to have just light pressure either. So, uh, and it, it is very much runner specific, but we're just gonna kind of work around there. It's always easier to have someone work on you than to work on yourself, but if that's all that's available, then you're just gonna work on yourself. So you got the center of the glute and the piriformis is gonna be right in the middle of the cheek. And then if we kind of go up a little bit higher and out, up to the side, we're gonna start hitting that glute medius, which is a primary muscle used for stabilization while running, especially running downhill. It can go for um, a few seconds up to a couple minutes. Uh, and when the tenderness is pretty much gone is when you get to move to a different spot. So another common area for uh, use of the Theragun is on the calves especially the inside calves. Oftentimes you're gonna develop multiple trigger points here, 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 and then out here, and then also further on down into the soleus. So again, we're gonna pick a level of vibration and there are multiple levels. This is the lower level. And we're just gonna find those tender points and then we're just gonna kinda of hang out there uh, with a pressure that the person can tolerate. The more that you're able to do this, the better off that those muscles are going to feel. One of the things that when we're running all of those miles is that we oftentimes forget about to do preventative maintenance on these muscles. Just like your car, it needs an oil change and uh, tires rotated, we have to do preventative maintenance on us and a lot of times people forget about that and that's what leads to injury. Another important tool that you can keep in your toolbox, no pun intended, is the stick roller um, and it's just Ironically, they have different names, but we're looking at the Marathon Edition. But another uh, good one that we can use, uh, especially on the quads, and then we're just going to, again, roll that outer quad. A lot of times people think that they're rolling their IT band when they're on the outside, uh, when in fact it really is just the outer quad that, they're, that you're getting in there and massaging and doing that soft tissue work. So it's not uncommon for that muscle to be tender. You will get a little bit of a bend in the, in the stick. No muscle should be hot, hard, or tender. So if a person is feeling it, they can do a little bit more preventative maintenance. The one thing I would caution you in on is if you are doing the soft tissue work after, a high, after an aggressive workout, don't be too aggressive because the muscles are trying to heal from the workout. Okay, so another recovery tool that we have is the R8 roller. Uh, this thing is going to give us compression. We're going to be able to get onto the quads, the AD ductors, the hamstrings. We can also use it down on the lower, lower leg on the calves. Um, this does put a fair amount of compression, and she's going to be able to go back and forth um, and really hit those spots that she feels that are tender. This is, again, going to give, give you some pretty aggressive soft tissue mobilization, the same kind of stuff that we're going to be doing with you in the clinic. So one great point to remember is that with this R8 roller, you can adjust the tension. So some people may want a little bit less tension, some people want, may want a little bit more tension, but you can customize it to what works for you. So just a couple other recovery tools that you have available to you. Um, we've got a foam roller uh, that you can lay on, uh, and again, does a nice job on the, on the calves. Not as aggressive as the R8, not as aggressive as the Theragun, but still uh, going to be able to uh, get in there and relax those muscles as, all, as well as the massage ball. Uh, you can use this on the foot, the calves, uh, or the quads. And one thing that's going to inevitably happen is at some point you're going to need an ice pack. Now in the clinic, Dana and I are going to be using ice packs, uh, gel packs, vasocompression. So the beauty of the free sleeve is that you can remain functional, meaning you can go about your day. Um, by putting this thing on, you can drive to work, you can work around the house. It is going to be cold when you put it on, um, and then generally within 8 to, eight to 10, 15 minutes, um, you can go ahead and take it off. So when it comes to recovery, the best aids that we have are immediately post-run, 
Make sure you eat and drink, and we'll talk about that later. And number two, sleep. Sleep is the best way to recover from a hard race, from a hard workout, because that's when your body truly heals itself.